When we come on a mission, we bring a number of different people when we come. Um, so we usually bring about 22 to 24 people. Of course we have surgeons, but we have CRNAs, anesthesiologists, uh, pre and post-op nurses, um, and OR nurses. We also bring college kids, we bring a photographer, videographer, and depending on where we go, um, interpreters. This is our patient Anna. She's 16 years old. She has a little formation of her ear called microtia, which is endemic in this area of the world, in Ecuador. It's very common. So you can see that she's missing a large portion of her ear. Her hearing also is affected on this side. Microtias are challenging because they're multi multiple stage procedures. Um, so we, we limited the number of procedures that we did, but we, we ended up doing three. We did one that was a partial reconstruction, uh, and then two uh, full microtia reconstruction. It's a multi-stage procedure where the first stage is we make the ear, the, the framework and the construct and we place it and we use rib to do that and we place it underneath the skin in the, uh, the temporal region where the ear should be and then we're working with our local plastic surgeons here to complete the second and third stage which is elevation of the ear and then transposition of the lobule. So that's the future surgery for, for these patients. Teach. We want to work with the locals, so we want to teach them. We want them to have to have them help with the surgeries, and we also want to learn from them too. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a win win on both sides. We get so much more out of these missions. I feel sometimes than what we put in. Um, it was a great exchange of information. He, they taught us some ways that uh, some short steps that we could take, um, and we taught them. Some of the techniques of more difficult procedures that they haven't done here. So it was a really great exchange of information. They brought their uh, the urologist also brought uh, students along with them, neurologic residents. So it was it was uh, interesting to be able to share that with them. The goal of the mission is to help the poor people and also to to be in contact with the local doctors and the local doctors. Uh, the surgeons are very happy that we they has been learning. Uh, new techniques and uh, uh, so it's a special team. Work hard and take care of all the patients that come across them. Mm -hmm. and, um, really enjoy doing their work. Everyone is committed and dedicated to their work. Uh, they're not worried about time. They start early morning, finish late and, um, and we just enjoy doing that stuff. Getting an IV because I'm so dehydrated <laughs> from the heat and from being sick so we don't stop working, we just fix ourselves and continue on. <laughs> So Adele was a patient who had a traumatic injury of her face and her scalp and uh, she's had multiple surgeries in the past and when she presented to us she had a deficiency of her forehead um, and she had a significant scarring of her forehead. Uh, the a previous surgeon had placed a skin graft um, on the, uh, the right uh, temple and the right forehead. So what we did was we reconstructed that area to give her a more symmetric appearance of her forehead and her, and her anterior hairline and we did that by advancing uh, local tissue from her forehead and from her face and also from her scalp to close the, the, the reconstructed defect. So now you can see her hairline. Before the, her hairline oh, was like down to here. Exactly. Remember that? Yeah. And then she had that skin graft, took the skin graft. So it looks great. She's, she had a very cheap, better, better than what we hoped. saying is 
to the world, I may be one person, but to one person, I may be the world, which is very, very true. Be happy, 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 be happy